You know, I, I was questioning where Kenny, I, I mean, where Xavier was throwing it, you know, because they're so long and they're so athletic, and uh, we had a timeout, but they knew that, but uh, when he threw it there, and I said, they're going to foul him, because we were trying to foul before that, because we had a foul to give, and Cassius showed a burst of speed that I haven't seen, and he was running from the guy, and then when he turned out, I said, my God, we're going to win the game, you know, so it was... One of those days that I'll remember that as long as I live. And then for Kenny, just uh, hadn't been shooting the ball great no. lately, and then just to make that. Uh, well, it was funny because I kept telling him the last couple days, like, we're going to make a shot. You'd like to make a shot. You think you can make a shot? And halftime, I said, you know, you had a couple good looks. You looked like you're rushing it. So I'll make the next one, coach. And he told me that the other night, so I just believed him. And it was actually sort of a set play because they were, they were really going with cash on that. And he said, if we could pop Kenny. But man, he, he buried that thing, you know, and it was it was a good looking shot. We give Cassius credit too and my staff and players, everybody executed, everybody did their job and it was a hell of a win. Were you worried about any hesitance from him when he got the one thrown by Zion there right before it was blocked? Well I asked him why he didn't pump fake, you know. He said, Coach, he was 15 feet from me. And I said, uh, my man, I showed you tape of that all yesterday, you know, he can block a shot from one baseline on the other and but it did take courage to take that thing. You know, I, I give him credit. It was a catch and shoot. Cash just put it right there. Kind of a neat, you know, being a former walk on myself. Uh, I was deep down cheering for him. And he was, and that was, his eye was closing on that one too again. He was. He was a little farther back. Didn't get that big step. But uh, I think if, if it helped in one way, he got Arch on the ball. And the arch on the ball because he knew he had to throw it up there was uh, was great. I know it's like your other senior Matt McQuaid who came out really on firing on all cylinders, drive to the basket, had that dunk. <laughs> yes, yeah. You know, I have another reason to be mad at my players. I've never seen Cassius with that burst of speed. I've never seen McQuaid do the dunk and the acrobatic spin move. Uh, you know, they're showing me some things that I've never seen myself. And uh, couldn't have picked a better time, but McQuaid on that dunk that was that was big time. And, that spin move, and I don't even know what he threw up there. I was about to yank on it, and he went in, so I kept him in the game. I know it's like ranking your kids, but the way this year went, how special is this one, and where do you put this one, just with all the injuries and everything you fought through? Now, the one thing I will say is everyone's been special for me because there's been a group of guys that have gone through different things, you know, the pressure of getting to the first one. And then the pressure of being picked almost all year to be the best team. And, and Mateen and Charlie and those guys had to deal with that and then win it. And then come back for the third year and try to get there three times in a row. And then in 05 when we were, a, I think, a five seed um, and having to play Duke and Kentucky down in Austin, uh, that was special. And, you know, we had, we, had, we had a hell of a video uh, today from our video guys put together something. And, it was all the players from that team sent in a, uh, uh, you know, uh, whatever it's called, social media stuff. You know, I don't know that stuff. <laughs> but they sent in something, and each player talked a little bit about the game back in 05 and what it meant to them. And then when Irvin came in and talked to the team, he, he talked about the memories. This has been 40 years. He started rattling off everything that happened. And I told my team later, I said, see, these memories do last a lifetime, and that's why they're so important. And, uh, you know, it's another thing like we have on our wall. It's, you know, two hours of work, 40 minutes of play, lifetime of memories, and that's why they're all special to me. Uh, you know, I could say this team is more mentally tough than most. I could say my team is more physically tough. I, I could say we got lucky a couple times. Being lucky and getting to a Final Four is still special, I promise. So this one was special because we have been through a lot. We haven't been there in a while. It was the, it was McQuaid's turn, you know. He didn't want to be the, you know, in that group with the seniors that didn't make it, and uh, and it was Duke. I mean, let's face it. The respect I have for them, um, you know, let's as everybody gives me credit. We're two and eleven. You know, we've doubled our win total against them. We're two and eleven. But the second one, the first one, helped us get to a Final Four. 
this one got us to a Final Four. So I guess in that respect, it's been good. When the guy said to means, What do you ahead. think this means to Spartan Nation? I don't know if you've seen anything from back in East Lansing right now, but there's a lot of parties going on. A lot of people are very excited. Well, they're going to have a, a lot time. of parties, but they're not better not be anything burnt or turned over, I'll tell you that right now. So Spartan Nation, listen up. You know, Duke showed an unbelievable amount of class tonight. So, you know, I'm getting back there tonight, and uh, I want to see a lot of parties. I want to see a lot of fun. I want to see a lot of cheering. I want to see a lot of excitement. I don't want to see a lot of things that would um, that I would lose respect for. So I don't know which way you're going with that, but make sure you tell them. Um, have fun. Behave. Enjoy it. Be classy. And thank you, because I appreciate all of you. The game for Cassius today, um, you know, he, he had that stretch at the end of the first half when you guys fell down. I mean, that was, that may have been, was that one of those pivotal moments of the season, do you think? Oh, yeah. You know, because um, for us to go on a 12 or 13 0 run against a team like that, uh, when we were down, call a timeout, which, as you guys know, I don't call many, um, I thought was big, you know, and uh, Cash had a lot to do with our defense picked up. I think a couple keys were, our defense was good enough that we turned them over 17 times, and and we didn't turn the ball over. And all of you know that, you know, we have a tendency to do that once in a while. So that was big. Tom, do you feel like you're, you're at a point now where this there's no <coughs> limits to this team, or maybe early in you're like, I wonder how good we are, and now you just kind of say, Yeah, if I was to be time. honest with you, which I normally am, <laughs> um, you know, I'm not sure I thought this team could get here at different times during the year, but. Uh, now we got to figure out how to, to win a, a, a second one. You know, we've, we've proven we can play with the best. We've played the best schedule. The Big Ten has been so awesome all year. we played 24 Big Ten games. We've got more quad one wins. These guys were given zero. Uh, they earned everything they got. And for that, we go in there good now. Texas Tech, I watched them the other night, and I have a lot of respect for Gonzaga. So that was scary. But... I'm not even going to talk about that tonight. I'm going to um, just kind of enjoy a, a flight home and uh, and then probably catch a little bit of them late tonight. You don't have to see Zion again, but how did your bigs, how do you feel like your bigs handled him, especially Xavier? Well, Xavier did it, and that was the matchup we felt we had to have. We were ready to put a couple other guys on him. Uh, Nick actually did a pretty good job on him. Uh, I think he stayed out of foul trouble, but... Then we started helping. We made a couple big adjustments late. We started switching that ball screen because we were having trouble. We started more or less fronting them, and they threw that one over the top. That cash has got the steal on. That was a monster play because we were worried that we couldn't handle both. And uh, so we were mixing up our coverages just because that guy's good, man. He, he's good, and he gets it down there. I've never seen a guy be able to finish in traffic like he has. Um, and then he hit those threes. And, Wow, he's a hell of a player. Going back to the win over Duke, the players all yesterday said they wanted this for you. They knew the record, and they wanted to shut people up, basically. What does that mean to you? Well, that would mean a lot, because I never talked one thing about the record. Um, <laughs> who in the hell would, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm 1-11 against them. Let's have a party. <laughs> it's, uh, but it, it's kind of cool that if they felt that way, that's awesome. Uh, you know, because there's things I want for them, too. I want them to get fulfill their dreams and goals and, uh, and everything they do. And um, My dream and goal isn't just to beat Duke, but my dream and goal is to make sure our program is, um, you know, is talked about like some of the great programs. And there's no question that Duke has been the model program in the last 25 years. Um, so we still got some work to do. Still got to win another championship. But we got to another Final Four. We took another step. And uh, hopefully you guys will all be up there. It might be a little cold. But, uh, hey, another uh, week where you can, you know, live for free for three, four days. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, after the game, couple did, more Coach guys. K, did Coach K have any message for you after the game? You know, I've done this a lot. And I, I've been through some winning sides of it, losing sides of it. And... Uh, <coughs> I, I said it, and I'm going to say it publicly again. I, yeah, he was very classy. I mean, classy, and I, and I felt from his heart he was, he was. Um, I think he appreciates the way we run our program. Uh, and uh, he wished me all the luck in the world and, and moving on. And uh, I was 
blown away how his players, his assistant coaches, and he was because he didn't have to go to the extremes he went to, which meant the world. And how pleased are you for the seniors, the guys that had you know been great in this tournament leading up to now, but now they finished their career? Yeah, that really is important too because we probably had the worst three-year run as far as winning games in this tournament. There's been some reasons why, but but they would have had to live with that too. And, now they don't have to live with anything, you know. They've done something that all the guys in the fraternity have told them. It's a big fraternity, you know, and there's a fraternity for winning Big Ten championships. That's a decent sized fraternity here. There's one for winning Big Ten tournament championships. It's pretty good. And, you know, there's one for getting the final fours. That's a lot smaller. And uh, now they're a member of that fraternity. There's only two and one national championship. So, you know, back when Mary H and I were in college, the uh, we wanted to get to the biggest, best fraternities and sororities, you know, those were the good things. But in my job, I want to get to the smallest fraternities and sororities, and so I want to make sure that we um, we accomplish things that few have, and, uh, and that's kind of the number we're looking to get into the smallest number. And Final Four is now our eight, but uh, national championships is two, and I'd like to find a way to build on that fraternity a little more, that small one that's out there for us. Tom, look like the emotions were kind of jacked up a little bit there in the last couple minutes. I wonder who was more collected, you or the players? I was pretty good today. <laughs> pretty good today. Um, I knew Gabe and Aaron were, it was, uh, uh, there was deer in the headlights there a little bit, which I don't blame them. Um, I mean, we called some things and Guys were going left that should have been going right, and guys were going right that should have been going left. And um, but it was it was good, you know. Cash is still Cash, McQuaid is still McQuaid, and those two guys as captains, and even Josh Langford stuck his nose in a couple times. It's it, it just so cool how everybody worked together. I wish I wish some of you could be with us 24 hours a day, and um, you. Uh, <laughs> do you? I do. I do. I do. I think you'd be shocked. In a good way, I think you'd be shocked. Tom, you talked uh, last week about some former players and how much they wanted it for Matt McQuaid. Just what does it mean to you to help Matt McQuaid get there in his senior season? You know, I say all the time there's three types of players. There's players that like the game, love the game, and live the game. Matt McQuaid's one of those guys that lives the game. And so... Uh, He's worn out more balls and shooting machines than any guy that I've had in a while and uh, deserves every single thing. He's changed from a great offensive player to becoming a good defensive player when all the injuries hit, and now he's working back on the offensive side. And uh, I'm happy for Matt. I'm happy for his family. He's got the greatest parents. And that kid's given. He truly is about the team. Uh, winning for him and not scoring a point is cool. And there's not many like that this day and age, so I'm really happy for him. Aaron, Aaron Henry had a pretty sneaky good second half. Yeah. He thought defensively. Like he, he did. He did. He, he, he did not play as good as he's been playing. And, and I think that pressure, I told both him and Gabe at halftime, you know, learn from this. You know, learn. And uh, it was funny because Dwayne Stevens, to give you a little inside, uh, watches the warm-up. You know, I'm in here and before we go out for the real warm-up. And he thought... You know, that Gabe was a little giddy, you know, and, and sometimes what happens is when you're nervous, you react two ways, you know. You're either, like, don't say a word or you're just jumping around like everything's good because you're trying to fool everybody. Well, he was giddy, so we called him in and talked to him about it. And, and I said, this is what you got to learn now. This is why it's hard to be a freshman. And, you know, it gets bigger. I said, if we win, it's going to get bigger next week. So figure out where you are mentally and... Um, see if you can learn from it. So it's going to be interesting. You know, on the way back home, I want to hear what he has to say and, and see if we can help him through next week. But that's why experience matters. He got some experience today, and, and so did Aaron. Aaron did play pretty good, but uh, started to go in the middle a little bit. Tell your wife you're busy. Um, anyway, uh, it's uh, he made some good plays. He made some plays that he hasn't made those kind of mistakes. So it's all the heat of the battle and played a lot of minutes too. So I'm, I'm proud of Aaron, proud of Gabe. Really proud of Nick. I thought Nick came in and gave us good lift. And, you know, hands a little bit bad and the conditioning is what's really tough on him right now. 
And so uh, hopefully another week or two can help because they could guard him down low. I mean, Nick was a force to use. Tom, back in the day, right, last did, one, guys. why did you give Kenny a scholarship? Because I was predicting that five years from now <laughs> we'd be in Washington, D.C. And I'd say, Kenny, why don't you shoot that damn three and see if we can, you can get us to a final four. <laughs> uh, you know, I gave him one. It was a funny story. He was recruited by small colleges. I mean, Division One schools. But his uncle had gone here, and he was a Michigan State guy from real young. He'd come up to a lot of games. He just in my our minds wasn't quite good enough. It shows you how poor of evaluators we are, because he's been a big key of this season. But um, great kid, good student, um, versatile kid, you know. And and I thought Kenny was one of those guys that liked the game and started to love the game. And you know, his, senior, his fifth year, he's, he started to spend a lot more time on the game. He got what he deserved, and uh, he was leading us to the final four. Well, Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks, Coach. Congratulations, man. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. 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 Thanks. There you go. Yeah, right? Rico. Yeah, I got you. 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 I got you.